Join us on the path to Destination Live Music Comeback Road, West Michigan. I'm John Sinkovich with Local Spins, and we're here at Third Coast Recording Company today to talk about the Michigan Music Alliance and the upcoming Spread the Music Festival that takes place online March 24th through 28th. It is a fundraiser for the Michigan Artist Relief Fund and will involve more than 200 musicians from across the state. And we're here with the president of Michigan Music Alliance, who's also part of Third Coast Recording Company, Bill Chrysler, as well as one of the musicians who will be performing, uh, Mark Lavingood. So, Bill, tell us a little bit about Michigan Music Alliance and why it was formed and what it does to help musicians across the state of Michigan. Well, we started it last year, and uh, our, our target is to help uh, musicians that want to make a career out of this, make their life, and, and uh, we want to give them information and help them network with other musicians and uh, help them with their finances, finding jobs, set up a website, just give them a education that's going to help them uh, in their career, not only now, but in the future. And when the pandemic hit last year, last March, you guys threw together the first virtual music festival, the first Spread the Music Festival, and raised thousands of dollars for musicians for the Michigan Artist Relief Fund and giving out grants to a number of musicians who really needed the help. So what are you hoping will happen this year? Well, we're really proud of that, and I think that we were the second uh, virtual uh, festival to go out. We were very, very early. It was pretty small. We had just a couple of days, but we had some nice acts. <laughs> The accidentals came in, they headlined that. We probably made, I think, a little over $40,000 and uh, were able to spread that out to people that really needed the money because they weren't able to do their live gigs. Now we're up to, I think, over 200 bands on this festival. We've extended it to even more days. I hope that that shows up on the other end with finances that we can spread out to even more musicians. Speaking of live music, we have Mark Lavengood who will be performing on Sunday, March 28th at the Listening Room as part of the virtual live streamed festival. So what does it mean to a musician like you to be able to perform, but also to be able to get the support that you need from the Michigan Music Alliance? It means everything, honestly. You know, I get to pay my bills. I get to get that thrill of being on stage again. Here comes an opportunity in Michigan Music Alliance stepping up to raise this money, to put it into artists' pockets, you know, and empowering artists with knowledge, you know, how to stay afloat during the pandemic. Everybody wants to help. Some can help a lot more than others. You know, some can't help financially, but will share and tell their friends. And, you know, it all is so important. That's the community. That's the wholeness of it. So there's a lot of pent up demand for live music among the fans, but there also must be a lot of pent up energy among musicians who are anxious to get back out there. What do you think is going to happen with this spread the music festival and, and perhaps the energy that people can pour out even if it's online and in a live stream fashion? I think it's going to be really good, you know, and, and as vaccinations are kind of rolling out steadily and more and more people are getting vaccinated, uh, it's, it's only going to help bring the industry back. And this is just, you know, some of the first steps. So hopefully we'll get a lot of folks and fans to show up and give what they can. So the online Spread the Music Festival takes place on the Michigan Music Alliance Facebook page starting on Wednesday, March 24th and runs through Sunday night, March 28th. And we have the executive director of the Michigan Music Alliance here. L. Lively to tell us a little bit more about who the headliners are for this year's event and also how it's going to support the musicians of this state. We're really excited to have Brian Vander Ark of the Verve Pipe close the festival out on Sunday night, that's March 28th, and he's going live from his home studio at 9 p.m. We also have Vince Dombrowski and Jackson Smith joining us from Detroit on Saturday night, the 27th, and they're performing at 10 p.m. And then the Accidentals are on Friday at 9 p.m. and they're going to be premiering a new music video and song as part of their set as well. So we're really excited about uh, the headliners this year as well as the over 200 artists from all different genres and from all around the state that are sharing their time and talent with us. 
It also seems to be more of a statewide event this year. So there are a lot of music fans that are desperate to be able to help out their musicians and their bands. So how can people donate? You can donate anytime through our website, michiganmusicalliance.org. There are several ways to donate on there, everything from Venmo to Facebook. Uh, you can also visit our Facebook page. And we're also asking people to consider sharing the videos, sharing the festival and the lineup. There's something for everyone on there. So go ahead and share the videos with your friends on your timeline. And then also we have our merch available, our Support Michigan Music merch. All of the proceeds go right back into the fund. And how can the musicians themselves get the help that they need through this fund? Uh, what kind of a grants can they expect to get? We're really excited to be able to extend applications uh, as of May 1st to any Michigan artist who lives in the state full time and makes their majority of income through live music performance. Those applications will be worked through and granted as quickly as possible. So I know that the overall goal is to raise more than $50,000, but isn't there also a goal of trying to support the Michigan music scene and to bring people together as a community? Absolutely. Our whole goal with the Michigan Music Alliance really ties back to the word alliance. We're trying to put people who believe in collaboration over competition together and align them with the same goals and ideals and give them a way to support each other and lift each other up. And the Michigan music scene is really unique because we have so many people who are in that mindset already. So we're harnessing what's already there and connecting the dots. They're so willing to help each other out. And it's really impressive to see that many artists coming together for a singular cause. So I understand that there's a new website that's specifically dedicated to spread the music festival and has a schedule and other information. Where can people go to get those kinds of details? You can check everything out at spreadthemusicfestival.org. It has our full schedule, information about every single performer involved, different ways to donate, and all kinds of information about our venues and our sponsors and our partners who are doing their part to support Michigan music. Well, thank you very much. Once again, the Spread the Music Festival takes place online on the Michigan Music Alliance Facebook page, March 24th through March 28th. So please tune in and support the Michigan Artist Relief Fund. Thank you.